What's going on people? Welcome back to another John Sinclair TV back again. I'm outside Wolverhampton Wanderers Stadium and in Molyneux and the game to Wolves in Newcastle. And if you like the video, like what you watch, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. And this is going to be a real tough game today. It's not the easiest place to come to. And our record at Molyneux is not that great either. The last time we won here, where we beat Wolves by Porto in the Championship, scored by Mitrovic and also he's been lucky not to be sent off before he actually scored that ball so he's quite lucky there as well so good journey down took us two hours to get here with the traffic and we've got players out in Saxony and miss 100 also we've also got Murphy out Botman's still out as well and it looks like Cannon Wilson's going to come in and start the game it's good to see Anthony Gordon will keep his place I'm sure Ligue will probably keep his place as well and it's going to be probably the same level that played against Dortmund, which you have to wait and see. So, going into the game, dear, if you are going to win this game, we have got to stop Pedro Neto. He is a cracking player. Craig Dawson is a fantastic defender as well, vastly experienced as well. And also, if you're going to get the win, I think you've got to do the backs against the war performance. I'm going to say 2-1 to Newcastle United and keep our unbeaten run going since the first international break. If you like this video, like what you watch, like and subscribe. And if you look on my left, guess who you can see on the left hand side? It's Paul Adam Pete. And enjoy the game. And as always, we've got Charlie and um, Wolves fan as well, and um, massive, massive fan of the Wolverhampton Wanderers. Charlie, just a quick one, mate. How do you think the game's going to go today? I think it's going to very, it's, it's going to be a very back and forth game, honestly. Uh, like if you score, we're probably going to score straight after. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Yeah. Quick go about Gary, Gary O'Neill. What a job he's done for you. He's, he's done a mass. He's done a brilliant job. Fantastic. And what about the players we got to look out for today? Who uh, got to Pedro Neto down that left side. He, he's got. He's in, we've been and out of all the defenders, all the fullbacks, and um, probably Dawson. Yeah. Yeah. I like Craig Dawson. I think he's a really good defender. He's he really, a really is. Good defender. fantastic experience, isn't it? And score prediction? Uh, two one Wolves. Fantastic, Charlie. Thanks so much for coming on JS TV. Right. Thank you so much, and let's make the best team win today. Hi, uh, JS TV. I've got James with me. Also, he's got a son, Oscar, as well, and both Wolves fans you can see. Um, how do you think the game's going to go today, mate? Um, I think we're going to probably find it quite tough against uh, an informed Newcastle squad. Um, but with a few injuries on the horizon, I'm hoping that we can uh, at least make a good draw. Yep, um, Gary O'Neill, what a job he's done at this moment in time. What do you think, Gary O'Neill? Gary O'Neill? Yeah. Um, I think he had, he had a tough start, came in four days to go from the start of the season. Um, I think he's done an alright job for us so far. I think Lopetegui jumped ship a bit too soon. Yeah. Um, but the way we're going at the moment, I'm happy with Gary O'Neill. Fantastic stuff. Just give us one player Newcastle should be watching out for today. One, one player? One player, yeah, for you too. Yep. And what about for your real lads? Who have you got to watch Neto. out for? Neto. Yeah, he's having a fantastic season. Six assists this season as well. He is lethal, lethal. And one last question score prediction, please. Uh, I'm going to be happy with 2 2. 2 2? Okay, cool. Thank you so much indeed, James, Oscar, and uh, enjoy the game. Cheers. I've got Adam P with me as you always, and um, absolute legend. Top, top, top podcast as well. Adam, and how was the journey down today? Well, I've actually game last night. Uh, for me, I normally come down a day early and go back a day later. It's just easier for me when sort the videos out in general. It's just good to come down and just relax a little bit. Uh, it's going to be uh, interesting today. It's, uh, it's going to be weird as well. I'm going back home tomorrow, actually, and I'm straight away. We're coming back for the Manchester United game on the Monday. So we've got plenty of away games coming, which I'm sure you know about. But today is where it all starts. The first of four away matches in the next two weeks. It won't stay that been pretty good this season considering uh, the fact the manager went match week one they've been quite well uh, they've been able to beat some good teams like City they beat Bournemouth which is a great win especially towards the bottom half of the table uh, going at this match Wolves would not be an easy game at all definitely not Gary and Neil's done a fantastic job at this moment in time Everyone said that Wolves going to be one of the favourites for the drop because of Gary and Neil it's all of their best players as well and he seems to come and get a tune out of these like Neto's been outstanding and Craig Dawson at the back is just quality at the back of 32. 
I mean, Wolves still have some good players actually, even though the lost legs are never as hilly mares in the similar, they have still got some great players. Uh, but the are coming down, I think we've got a bit of pressure on us, but a lot of injuries come in place now. Some Ari's just been banned for 10 months, the castle have got a lot of different questions we have to answer uh, in these upcoming games. All the games are huge now. I mean, the thing is, if you lose against Dortmund, then at that point they're six points ahead in the castle, so you're thinking, well, this is we're going to be screwed there. If we lose to Manchester United, we're out of the Carabao Cup. If we were to beat them, they've got a good chance of winning something. Uh, the Premier League, we lose to the likes of Wolves today. That again, we're going to be falling further down the table. Every game is huge already in this season. It's a big ask for Newcastle where our squad depth is good, but still not as good as it needs to be for the amount of games you're playing and when you've got injuries, suspensions, problems beyond the club that are coming into play. There's a lot of questions that are going to be asked today. This is going to be a hard game. Uh, the likes of Wolves are not going to, have to be playing every single match now when you've got the likes of Isak injured. It's a lot to ask from these players when they're playing every three or four days, but they have to get it done. They have to go out and pitch there and get three points. I don't think a point will be good enough today. I have to agree with you, it's either three points or nothing as well. I mean, going in as well, I mean, like the midfield is going to be stretched today, I think. I mean, and also not only that, Botman's out, Isak is out, Murphy is out as well. The midfield is going to be um, interesting as well. Can you see Joel Linton getting start again? Because he had a poor game. Well, when he has to start, really, yeah. Newcastle midfield is a bit of a crisis at the minute once uh, someone yeah. else happens. I think Bruno's on four yellow cards, so one more yellow card, he's suspended. Uh, Anderson's injured for a few weeks with yeah. problems with him. Uh, Tenardi, of course, is out for the entire season. Yeah. On top of that, uh, what we've got left for Joe Linton. Uh, Willock's back in, so you literally got those three, and that'd be Miley on the bench. So you would, you would have to do that. I don't think you can play like Sir Lewis Miley anymore. See, like a 17 year old lad, you can't just dump him in there. He has to be gradually brought into the team. You've seen it against City in the Cup. I thought he struggled in the game. I think Lewis Hall played a bit further what the pitch of midfield. He struggled as well. So uh, it has to be a good balance for the castle. We have to play it small. We have to be careful with the young players. You don't want to just throw them in there and knock the confidence. So today, as for the castle's midfield, I'm expecting to be Joe and Bruno and Willock. I can't see anything else. So obviously Longstaff as well, so I forgot about him. Yeah. So they probably will play Longstaff over there, one of them. But listen, the four midfielders there, they're good. They'll do a good job. Uh, we'll have everything sorted for now. It's once more suspensions and injuries coming. That's the problem. Exactly. Bruno G has to be on his best behaviour today. Score prediction, Adam? Uh, I'll back Newcastle to win 3 1. Um, I fancy it'll be a, a nervy first half, but I think as the game progresses, I'm expecting Newcastle to start to dominate the play more. I'm expecting us to hopefully pick Wolves apart. Good team, but it has to be a good day for Wolves. If Wolves aren't at their best today, I think Newcastle will win this. Thank you, Adam. Thanks for coming on, and um, okay. always good to see you. Always good to see you. Thank you. Just see if there's any more players' comments. Yeah, there you go.
Nice. Oh. 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 Nil, nil, nil. Um, good game at the minute, and um, I mean, Pedro and Neto are useless pace on right hand side, and you've got to be careful, this guy, he's got to be watched. And you've got to feel right hand side. Got a six yard box, and they got the ball at the time. Short last had a good chance then. Right foot to just inside the box, and it went just wide. Nil nil. Atmosphere is fantastic. Cool, let them mind. Well stepped up, think that's a free kick there.
Turks and Nip, Paul's going to be on the spot of bomber here because if it goes against him. Go ahead, Paul. I'll tell you what, that was lucky. That was really lucky.